Good evening. My name is Paul Moore. I'm the Director of Fundraising and Comms at Winston's Wish, and I'm also delighted to be the host for this year's Carols by Candlelight service. We'd hoped to meet as many of our supporters this year in Brighton as we possibly could, but circumstance would have it that we find ourselves once again bringing our concert to you online this year. A huge thanks to all of our performers who managed to record at very short notice their performances to share with you tonight, including the Heart and Soul Choir, Isabella, Bonnie and Mariam from Brighton College, and also our very own Young Ambassadors, Maisie and Oscar. So grab a mince pie, sit back and relax as we bring in the festive season together and remind you of the important work that Winston's Wish plays in your community. Thank you. Hello, this is the Heart and Soul Choir, and we'd like to sing It's the Most Wonderful Time of the Year. to sing Ding Dong Merrily on High.
Little Tree by E.E. E. Cummings Little tree, little silent Christmas tree, you are so little, you are more like a flower. We found you in the green forest, and were you very sorry to come away? See, I will comfort you, because you smell so sweetly. I will kiss your cool bark and hug you safe and tight, just as your mother would, only don't be afraid. Look the spangles that sleep all the year in a dark box, dreaming of being taken out and allowed to shine. The balls, the chains, red and gold, the fluffy threads. Put up your little arms and I'll give them all to you to hold. Every finger shall have its ring and there won't be a single place dark or unhappy. Then when you're quite dressed, you'll stand at the window for everyone to see and how they'll stare. Oh, but you'll be very proud. And my little sister and I will take hands and looking up at our beautiful tree, we'll dance and sing Noel, Noel.
I, I remember she had a heart attack. I woke up to just find paramedics running up the stairs and things like that. I remember going into the hospital, still not knowing what to prepare, what to expect, and just seeing him lying there. It was just, I didn't, I couldn't think of anything to describe it. It was just heartbreaking seeing. But my dad went in the ambulance, and they drove her to the hospital, but she didn't make it. When the paramedic went in, he was just lying on the floor, so I got like, what's happened? And I went in, the woman said, we've tried everything we can, we can and we've done exactly what we do if it was at A&E or if we're in a hospital right now, but we're gonna have to stop. We've tried to like stable him and get him back, but there's nothing we can do anymore. In the morning, I came downstairs and he sat me down and he just said, last night your mum died, sorry. <laughs> I put like something on Facebook and then I went into school and it just felt like everyone was sort of watching me, if you know what I mean. It's kind of horrible because it's like a massive elephant in the room. Everyone knows about it, but no one says anything about it. The first thing that came into my head was that everything was going to change. <laughs> They can't understand how big of like a gap it leaves in your life unless it happens to you. Like a dad is a big thing, especially for like a boy, if you know what I mean. Like, it can be for a girl too, but for like that man in your life not to be there anymore, that like, you can't go and speak to him about like men things or anything, it's hard. These feelings were coming into my head and memories and I would get flashbacks and, and it would make me really upset, seeing her face. Kind of the main way I wanted to go through Winston's Wish is to meet new people and kind of connect with them. I was so nervous, but as soon as I came in, there was these friendly, smiling people and they opened their hearts. There's another boy who lost his dad and he was 13. And he had, it was sort of the same way, really. Like, he just died in his sleep, and it was... Like, you can relate to him, you can talk to him about, like, the same things. And he was sort of feeling the same way that I had, like, felt. So it was really nice just to talk to him about it. We got a piece of clay, and we pretended it was our feelings, and then we threw it at a wall. <laughs> it gave me people to talk to. Like, I could talk to anyone, like, I met here about it and it was, I could just get it out. Instead of sitting at home thinking in my head, it was good. They have completely changed the way that I look at how my mum passed away. Instead of looking at it as a sad way, I can now look at it as a happy way, but still be quite upset that she's gone. If you did Winston's Wish, don't feel like they were going to tell you the right way to grieve. They'll support you whichever way you want to grieve. Winston's Wish helps. Go talk to people. That's what I did and it helps so much. Life goes on. <laughs>
it's the Heart and Soul Choir and we'd like to welcome Barb Warwick, our soloist for I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas. Snowflakes dance on winter winds, and coloured lights shine Christmas cheer. When children's laughter fills the air, and family gathers from far and near, I try to celebrate with them, and not let my hurting show. But the empty spaces within my heart at this season seem to grow. Till often times it fills the day, and many night times too, with aching thoughts and memories of Christmases spent with you. Yes, memories do hurt, it's true, but I have this feeling too. I'm so glad I hold these memories, for with them I hold part of you. So for now I'll wipe away the tears, and join with loved ones dear, to celebrate this Christmas time, for I know that in my heart you're here. Thanks once again to all of our performers who've made this evening possible. I'm sure you'll agree that they all did an incredible job. Events like our carol concert are absolutely vital to ensure that we can continue to provide support for children and young people like Livy, Jack and Dan. Maisie and Oscar also have their own stories to tell and do so much to support our work as young ambassadors. Sadly though, there are thousands more who don't yet get the help that they need. Winston's Wish is needed now more than ever as we step up to become the front line of tomorrow and prepare to care for those that were bereaved as a result of the pandemic. We believe that every child deserves the chance to live a life that is filled with opportunity regardless of the hand that they receive. But we need your help to make sure that we can be there for them. We had hoped to raise at least £5,000 from our concert in Brighton tonight, 
However, as with so many of our best laid plans over the last 18 months, we come to you online instead. It's been a hugely difficult time for so many charities. But I'm once again asking you if you will dig deep and give what you can this Christmas to give hope to grieving children. We're on a number of platforms this year, so you may find a donate button attached to this post, or you can visit our website at winstonswish.org. If you've already made a donation to our Christmas appeal, then a huge heartfelt thank you to you from all of us. We really do appreciate it. And thanks again to all of you for joining us this evening, and we hope to see you all next year in person. For now, I'll leave you with the Heart and Soul Choir and wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Hello, this is the Heart and Soul Choir, and we'd like to sing one of our favourite Christmas songs for you now. It's called Let It Snow. to wish you a very Merry Christmas from the Heart and Soul Choir. Mm -hmm. 